Hi everyone, this is Migs from Sneaks and Ball PH and today we'll be taking a look at the basketball shoe releases from July 5 to July 11. Then we'll also be taking a look at some of the hype sneakers that we'll be dropping next week on the Nike sneaker site. I've decided to do this release recap every week so I'll be airing them on Sundays so that the people who really want to know the newest sneaker releases may do so and for those who are kind of waiting for a really hype sneaker may also know where to get them and what time and what date it'll release. So if at the end of the video you really enjoy it and you found it very informative please make sure to leave a like down below then please make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the weekly updates on sneaker releases so this week's releases were a little bit more chill especially compared to last week because last week Nike did like release a boatload of shoes so for this week we just have two shoes from Adidas and three shoes from Nike so starting off with Adidas they did release the Harden Volume 4 Pride shoes and it is a bit weird that the Harden Volume 4s didn't release last week alongside the Dame 6 and the Dero in. I'm not really sure why that happened but at least they're here already. So the Harden Volume 4 Pride shoes have a rainbow colored outsole and then you also have quite a bit of white on the sneaker. So you have white on the midsole, white on the toe cap, white on the midsole sort of elastic band. You have white on the lace loops as well as the laces themselves. Then you have gradient blue on the forefoot part of the upper. Then for the back half of the upper, you have a gradient orange. Then lastly, you have a little bit of gold on the three stripes on the tongue. In my opinion, the Harden Volume 4 Pride shoes were executed very well. So you do have all of the rainbow colors as well as the pride theme, but you do have a sufficient amount of white in my opinion, so that there's some semblance of balance. Last week, I really loved the execution on the Dame 6 Pride shoes. However, I feel like the Harden Volume 4 takes the cake. I just feel like the Harden Volume 4 Pride shoes have such good color blocking. And in my opinion, it's the best out of the bunch. And just like what I said last week, I really like that Adidas did this for Pride Month, even though the sneaker release was a bit late, but you know, better late than never. And besides, we don't just have to celebrate Pride during Pride Month, but we really need to fight for gender equality all the time. But not only gender equality, but equality in general, because we really have a long way to go before we make the world a better place. Then for the next shoe that Adidas released, it did release a pretty much all black Dame 6. And why Adidas? Why? Why? Please explain to me why. So this version of the Dame 6 is actually a little bit different from the other predominantly black Dame 6 that they released because the side panel does have a very coarse mesh. The mesh is actually so coarse that it kind of looks like a screen door. So I don't know. Why would anyone want the side of their shoe to look like a screen door? I really don't understand. And then the shoe is predominantly black. So you have black on the outer part of the outsole. You have black on the midsole and a black upper. The only thing that's not black is here on the heel part because you do have a Dame 6 text. And then on the inner part of the outsole, the right shoe has lime green. And then the left shoe has this sort of reddish orange. You can't really see that though, unless you're like running behind the person who's wearing the Dame 6. So I don't know, that's just a waste of color because it pretty much is all black all throughout except for those portions. The shoe really isn't doing it for me. Like, I don't know how you can love a shoe like this. But you know, no offense if there are some people who want the shoe. Because if you want the shoe, you can go out and get it. It's just, it really isn't for me. Then moving on to Nike, Nike did release a new colorway of the Kyrie 6. And this colorway is sort of this red and white team colorway. And I must admit it is pretty clean. And especially if these are your team's colors, the color blocking is really nice on this one. So you do have white on the outsole, you have white on the upper, you have white on the tongue, and then you have white on the heel clip. You do have red on the Phylon midsole, red on the Nike swoosh, red on the midfoot strap, and you also have red on the inner lining. It is a pretty clean colorway and it actually looks pretty dope in my opinion because for me, the Kyrie 6 really looks good with just a simple two-tone colorway. Then for the back half of this particular colorway of the Kyrie 6, they did use white leather. And I prefer this over the other colorways of the Kyrie 6 that either used like a little bit of suede and the other colorways like the trophies which had patent leather because you know, it's on the heel part so that's really gonna get scuffed quite a bit. Then for the next two shoes, Nike released two colorways of the LeBron Witness 4 and the first one is in a black and red colorway. The red and black colorway of the LeBron Witness 4 is actually pretty basic but it does look pretty cool because 
I don't know, most black and red shoes kind of do. So on this colorway, you have black on the mesh upper, you have black on the heel clip, and you have black on the outsole. Then for the red parts of the shoe, you do have red on the fibers of the zoom unit, you have red on the midsole, as well as red on the midfoot wing, the Nike swoosh, and the pull tab. So again, this is a really simple black and red colorway, and if you're one of those people that don't like cleaning their shoes a lot, then a black based sneaker is actually the way to go. Then this is actually a look that I'd prefer because it does have quite a bit of pop of red, and it's much better for me than a triple black sneaker that kind of doesn't have any flavor to it, but that's just me. Then for the last shoe, we have a pretty interesting colorway of the LeBron Witness 4. Essentially, what you have is a purely white upper. So the laces are white, the mesh is white, the overlays are white, the heel clip is white, the swoosh is white, and you also have a white midsole. However, on the heel, you have this pretty crazy tie-dye looking pattern with a lot of colors like light blue, yellow, let's see what other things, there's pink, there's orange, there's green. So it's a pretty colorful outsole. And this is actually quite the opposite of the previous colorway of the LeBron Witness 4 because this is all white on the upper. So this is for people that don't mind getting their shoes dirty or who don't mind having to clean their shoes pretty often. I'm really not sure how to feel about this colorway because it just seems weird that the outsole is so wild and the upper and midsole are just all white. Like it might have been nicer if some of that pattern on the outsole was also somewhere on the upper of the shoe just so that it doesn't look so separate. So those were the basketball shoe releases from last week. And like I said, it's a pretty chill week. So you did have two colorways of the LeBron Witness 4, which is a pretty budget shoe because it comes in at around 5,000 pesos. Then you had two relatively inexpensive signature shoes in the Dame 6 and the Kyrie 6 because both of them come in at around 6,000 pesos. And then actually the most expensive shoe of the bunch was actually the Harden Volume 4 Pride shoes. And relative to other shoes in the market, it's not really that expensive because it does only retail for 7,000 pesos. Then looking ahead to next week, we don't really have any basketball shoes or basketball retros releasing on the sneaker side. But what we do have is two colorways of the women's Zoom Double Stack and I'm really curious to how this feels but you know I don't fit in any women's sizes so if there's anyone who can fit in a women's size or if there are any women who are watching the channel and might get the shoe please hit me up so that you can kind of describe how it feels because I'm really curious how that really thick zoom unit in the forefoot feels and definitely curious how that double stack visible zoom units in the heel feel. Like the way I imagine it, it's gonna be super duper bouncy and maybe even borderline unstable because that's definitely so much zoom air. So the two colorways would be this triple black one and this triple vault. So one is pretty plain, triple black, and the other one is just very loud because it's all vault everywhere. So for the release date on those, it is releasing on July 16th at 10 a.m. And then for the retail price, it will retail for 11,595 pesos. So it is a pretty expensive shoe. Then also on July 16th at 10 a.m., you have the Space Hippie 1, 2, and 3. These are all coming in a vault colorway. So the only difference between these and the previous release is pretty much the color of the Nike swoosh. So you have the Space Hippie 1, which retails for 6,745 pesos. Then you have the Space Hippie 2, which retails retails for 7,645 pesos. And lastly, you have the Space AP3 that retails for 8,995 pesos. The Space AP series is Nike's way of making recycled sneakers kind of cool because these sneakers were made from around 50% recycled material. And you know, the concept is pretty cool and there's actually quite a lot of hype for these shoes because the previous release pretty much sold out instantly. Then if you're wondering what the difference is between the one, two, and three, the Space Hippie one is sort of a low cut with laces. And then the Space Hippie two doesn't have laces, so it's that sort of stretchy, fly knit sort of shoe that you can pretty much just slip on. And then the Space Hippie three is a more high cut shoe. It kind of looks like a hiking boot, but it does have that fast fit system that we've previously seen on the Jordan 33 and the Kobe AD NXT fast fit. So don't forget, those are also releasing on July 16th at 10 a.m. So there you have it, guys. Those were the basketball shoe releases from July 5 to July 11th. And a bit of a look ahead to the sneakers that will be dropping on the Nike sneaker site for next week. So if you liked the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Then if you have any comments, questions, or any suggestions for any future videos, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below as well. Then if you haven't already yet, please make sure to subscribe and click that bell icon for notifications. It would help us out a lot. Here's Sneaks and Ball, PH.